Hello again everybody, Jim Hickey, also known as at Bass Fishing Tips on Twitter, here to you with another short video uh, on a prize pack that I won uh, over the Christmas break uh, from Lockjaw Jigs out of Elkhart, Indiana, if I recall. Um, at least that's where I think the package came from. And what he was doing during that time frame is trying to get his followers over a certain number and I you know tweeted to do that and then he randomly selected some people and I was one of the recipients so happy to do that and what we were uh, allowed to do uh, after you were selected winner was um, choose one of each of three of his products specifically a jig uh, which he has several different different types of jigs I went with the 3DI jig in quarter ounce kind of like a swim bait, I mean, excuse me, swim jig uh, to me, uh, although it could be considered an all-purpose jig, I think of it as a, sw as a swim type jig. Um, one of his spinner baits and his buzz baits, um, which has a relatively unique arced frame to it, although I guess he also uh, gives you the option to get the conventional frame as well. Okay, so what do we get? What do I do? Well, first of all, I looked at his, the color patterns he had available. And I opted to get all three in uh, what he refers to as mean green. Um, and uh, let me start out by showing you the spinnerbait, which is a double-bladed willow leaf in mean green. Excuse me. Uh, 3A ounce has a bullet-shaped head. Um, as you can see, two willow leaf blades on it. Nice ball bearing swivel. Nice uh, ultra sharp um, mustad hook. Uh, has a finish that reminds me of some uh, other company that begins with a W and E in their name. Uh, at any rate, I uh, just kind of find that rel relatively uh, curious, but kind of cool because I like their baits as well. Also, you know, one of the things that is kind of signature to them is one, they hand tie their skirts, so that's always really cool. And two, you'll notice that this keeper, okay, on the Spinner bait, and actually it's on all three, I believe. I know it's on this and the jig. I haven't looked that closely at the buzz bait yet. And I know he also gives you the option whether you want that or not, depending on whether you put trailers on your uh, spinner baits and buzz baits or not. Now, obviously, it's something you probably definitely want on your jigs. Okay, so relatively cool uh, color. The reason why I went with this color, with that yellow and the silver and the the white in there and the sparkle, it, it kind of is an emulation of all the different bait fish around here that we have. Perch, bluegills, smelt, alewives, golden shiners, kind of like when you can't make up your mind which one you want to go after, or if you don't know of something that's chasing spe uh, specifically, this would be a great color to go out there and start the day with. So that's the reason why I selected that. Okay, number two, let's go on to their jig. And like I said, it's their, I think it's their big eye, or 3D eye is what he calls it. Okay, and here it is here, up close and personal. Again, it's the mean green color, and again, I selected that because it's kind of a combination of things. has that keeper on it that I showed before, a nice ultra-sharp must-add hook. Um, great shape to the head that allows you to swim it and do whatever else you want with it, pretty much. And in this case, I've paired that with a Southern Yankee Baits Kraken, one of their creature baits, which I thought was really cool. And this has green flake in it, so again, I thought it would enhance the skirt. It's in a cinnamon color, something I had uh, Tommy Ryan at uh, Southern Yankee Baits actually make specifically for me. So I thought that was a pretty cool combination. Very anxious to go out and fish, put this in the water. But with, you know, a growing ice sheet cover around here, it's going to be a several weeks, well, a dozen weeks before I actually probably get a chance to do that. Now, something that's gotten me really, really excited is their buzz bait. Okay. One, uh, to be honest, when I saw that arced shape, I thought that was kind of funky. The more I thought about it, I kind of like it. But the other thing that I like about this bait, it's uh, got a wire thickness for this weight bait as well as, um, and I assume that this wire will be on like 3 eighths as well, um, has, again, that keeper if you want to put a, trailer on there. I usually don't use trailer by buzz bait, so that's something that uh, I may actually end up taking off. And when I get him to do more of these uh, buzz baits, which is something I'm going to be buying from him, and you'll hear why in a moment, um, I'll have him not put on them. Nice uh, medium size uh, delta type 
willow leaf, I mean, it's a buzzbait blade, which is the type of buzzbait blades that I like. I don't like the ones that are offset to one side, like came on the original Uncle Lore. Uh, and that head, you know, kind of flat, but kind of bullet shaped at the same time. Uh, this bait reminds me of a buzz bait that was made by a gentleman whose name is Marvin Walsh, Marv Walsh, who I met when I joined the Denver Bassmasters, oh, about 30 years ago. Um, uh, since then, Mars moved into Washington State, and I lost track of him. But he used to produce buzz baits on this exact frame. And with that blade and with that blade size and quarter ounce and three eighths ounce and that wire consistency. And I'll tell you what, when you get this thing broken in right, it is the most bass catching buzz bait I have ever used. I have searched high and low to get more of these. I mean, when we used to buy these baits from Marv, you know, all of us who were buying them from him would buy a dozen at a time. And I think the last time I bought them from him, I bought a couple of dozen buzz baits from him uh, of assorted sizes and colors that I that I fish, commonly fished um, because I didn't want to run out. He also hand tied the skirts. It's one of the things you didn't have to worry about. Uh, most of the times when I lost these, they eventually break at the, the R bend, which all buzz baits and spinner baits do when you catch enough fish on them. And that's how many fish I was catching on these. Um, the other thing that his did occasionally was it would separate down here, but you could glue that back together. Or I'd make one of those casts because, you know, you'd forget to tie, retie every so often, and it'd go one of your longest casts up in the woods somewhere. But I am so excited to have found this buzz bait. And I will order a few more of the arch, but to be quite honest, the next set I, when I order several of them, will probably be the conventional shape because that's what I got from Marv uh, and do a comparison between the both. But I am, like I said, this is the closest emulation to that buzz bait that I have found in 30 years. You have no idea how excited I am to find this. The guys at Lockjaw Jigs have a delivering something that I just cannot believe. And until the point that I actually got one of, a hold of one of Mars uh, buzz baits in the past, I had caught the occasional bass on buzz baits, but never did really well on them. And for several years, that was one of my go-to baits. I caught more bait bass on that bait, up to seven pounds. My second largest bass that I have, that I large mouth that I ever caught, a huge small mouse would pull small mouse out of 15, 20 feet of water in the spring off of points. I mean, these baits were amazing. I am so excited to find this. Anyways, okay, I'm, I'm going to quit reading. Um, so, you know, go check out uh, LockjawJigs.com and check these buzz baits out. Like I said, his conventional that, that, that is kind of unique to him is this arched form down here, which is, is relatively cool, but he offers you the option to get a conventional form. And I'll get some of both to try them out, but I'm very excited to have found this. At any rate, uh, that's a little longer than I wanted to go, but I knew once I started talking about these buzz baits, I was going to get very excited. Um, I am so pleased to have found this. I'm, I'm just beside myself. At any rate, hope that gives you some useful information. Go check out Lockjaw Jigs. Uh, their jigs look fantastic. Their spinner baits look fantastic. You know how much in love with their buzz baits I am. So uh, don't hesitate. Go give them a shout out and tell them I sent you. Be talking to you again real soon. Jim Hickey at Bass Fishing Tips. Have a wonderful day.